Hi guys. Um, so it is let's see, 8:53. I have not vlogged like this in a while. I've done a lot of sit down videos for the past few videos on my channel. I don't know. I've been kind of just doing nothing. It feels like, but I recently did a poll on my Instagram asking you guys what kind of content you want to see more of, and you guys said quarantine vlogs. So figured might as well. You know start now to get back into it like i said it's 8 53 p.m and i do want to start like getting my life together okay before i go into what i'm doing right now let me just break it down a little bit i have been going to bed at like 2 a.m pretty consistently like 1 to 2 a.m sometimes even later which is so bad and then waking up like 10 for the most part my entire morning's gone and i don't really like that because i liked when i had a consistent schedule of like going to bed around like 11 to 12 and wake up around like 7 to 8 which is good for me i really liked that i want to get back into it because there's nothing stopping me now you know classes are over so what i'm going to do is work for a little bit maybe for around like half an hour on research stuff go get ready for bed read a little bit and then go to bed as soon as possible so i could hopefully wake up earlier so what i'm doing right now is i have um work right here oh also i got um a wireless mouse because it makes it a lot easier to use uh for this program for my research i have this program that i am using to map out specific connections in the brain which is really really cool i have a certain amount of work that i said i'll be done with by tomorrow before my meeting with um, my lab mentor i'm gonna work on that a little bit tonight and then hopefully do the rest of it tomorrow because my meeting with her is at 4 p.m i have my green tea green tea with honey It is 10.36. This is how much I've gotten done. <laughs> Trust me, if you think it doesn't make any sense to you, it makes even less sense to me. So yeah, that's that. And now I am going to be sleeping. I'm tired. So I think I'll just set out my bullet journal, check some emails, and then get ready for bed. So just before I go on, I wanted to show you what my new setup is like. This part is still the same, but then instead of having the left column being school, I now have it as priority, and then the right side is to do. Okay, just clean my desk, but now I will probably be getting ready for bed. That's it for today. I will see you guys hopefully tomorrow. Hey guys, it is 10.54 a.m. I woke around like 9 lying in bed until like 10 ate breakfast got ready as you can see cleaned up my room a little bit and now i'm sitting down to do work so you guys saw me fill up my bullet journal yesterday i have a few more things to add as of this morning so also i'm currently not wearing makeup but i'll probably put on some later probably in a little bit actually just because i do have that video call i'm feeling a little sluggish today but usually doing my makeup helps me with that Okay, it's 11.46 and I am now rendering the video that I had to edit. Check that off the list. Now I have to work on editing a proposal that I had to write for my research over the summer. Video meeting. I have to walk my dog. I wanted to exercise later. Hopefully I can do that. I've been vlogging, which is good. And I really want to start this key drama. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, um, most of that editing process was me looking over the suggestions made by my lab mentor 
So that wasn't too bad. Now I'm just going to probably take a step back from that, maybe go back to it later so I can look at it with a fresh pair of eyes. Hey guys, I just did my makeup very quickly. It is now 1.28. Gonna take my dog on a quick walk and then come back, eat a little late lunch, and then get ready for my video call at four. Hello. After the walk, I got very sweaty, so put my hair up and also changed into pajama shorts. Yes, these are high school musical shorts and a t-shirt, but I'm going to change back soon. But I have to do the dishes because I'm doing them at lunch today and then work. And by the way, it is 2.30 right now. So, because I'm no longer sweaty and I have a meeting in 40 minutes, I will be changing. So, I am about to have a lab meeting. Hello. Hi, Kiara. How are you? Unfortunately, my battery died halfway through the call, but it went really well. It was only around like half an hour. What happened was I just shared my screen and I kind of showed her the progress I'd made so far. And she made suggestions for how I could use the software, the different features in the software to help me refine it. I'm really excited. I'll be able to kind of improve the image that I already have now. Phone call's done. Now, um, that's pretty much all I had to do today. I'll probably just keep like checking emails. Honestly, continue working on this. I think if I have time, look into some of the things I've been wanting to do this summer. I have a list on my phone that I should probably turn into a bullet journal spread. So some of the things I've been looking at this summer. So summer plans. I want to learn how to code. Someone suggested Code Academy to me, so I'm going to be looking at that. Sign language. I kind of want to learn a little bit if I can. I feel like that would be something useful i want to learn french because i've been saying that for probably like three years straight and i only know like phrases i've been wanting to learn how to skateboard because i was skateboard for when i was in like middle school i went through this phase where i thought i'd be this awesome cool skater girl clearly didn't happen but you know what stereotypes okay i could still be and also know how to skate and also lab work as I was just talking about, and YouTube videos. Right now I have like the afternoon ahead of me. Hope you guys are doing well. I'll check in again in a little bit when I have something else going on. <laughs> My favorite. Yay! Hi guys, I just wanted to show you. Look at this incredible sunset. My neighbor's playing basketball. Look at that. I just wanted to say, um, I just posted this thing on um, my story. It's called the Truth Challenge. Um, I was tagged by Lisa Fan to do it. I feel like there's a lot more I could say about it, especially about the parts where I talk about my Asianness, body positivity, my views on being seen as a role model, like some sort of standard for people who want to get into Harvard or top colleges, and being really overwhelmed by that tool edge sword of an expectation that doesn't even make any sense but i'm obviously flattered and so thankful that people look to me as a kind of role model but of course it makes me wonder the kind of role that i'm playing in setting people's expectations for those things i do always try to be as authentic and honest as possible about this i've never once said these are the things you should be doing to get into harvard i've never once said things about myself and my study habits i feel like that were not entirely true i'm honest about the slumps that i have i'm honest about my lack of motivation my procrastinating habits but i'm also honest about those small bursts of motivation that i have every once in a while usually i try to document those just as a way to motivate you guys too because i was once in your shoes obviously but again it's just a strange path to navigate that i'm still trying to navigate by myself so yeah maybe i'll talk about a little bit more but i did just want to touch on that here but i think i'm just gonna spend some time um 
responding to some DMs because I have quite a few that I haven't been able to get to from you guys. Um, I do try to respond to them all, even if it's, you know, really, really late. So yeah. Oh, my back. So it is now 10.06. Uh, PM. I finished responding to pretty much all the DMs that I had. They're all so kind and thoughtful and really just make me so happy to read. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Now I'm sitting down at my desk in front of my laptop after also putting away some clothes that I had to put away into my closet. I figured what I could do is maybe work a little bit more on some of the things that I discussed with my lab mentor. Maybe start editing this video but I feel like that's a bit ambitious, we'll see. Probably just work on this for an hour maximum and then try to go straight to bed. I just want to say if you guys are ever feeling like a lack of motivation, sometimes doing like time lapses of your study sessions or the things that you're supposed to be doing will help you keep yourself accountable. When you know that you have a camera on you, you're less inclined to want to just like distract yourself on your phone. It's something that I actually like a lot about vlogging. It keeps you accountable. So if you want to do that too. But yeah, on to this. It is 11.43 p.m. I finished working on the brain mapping thing for my lab uh, around 11. And by finished, I mean I gave up in frustration because I had no idea what I was doing and everything was very difficult and kept getting worse and worse. Then I was on my phone for the last 40 minutes. So, successful into the night. I'm going to get ready for bed now. And then reading. I fall asleep. Before I do that, I will be setting up my bullet journal for tomorrow. <laughs> Hello, it is Thursday, May 21st. It's 11.43 a.m. I actually started my day a little earlier beyond what you're seeing right now. I just finished doing my makeup, but I woke up around like 9, had breakfast around 9.30. Oops, I'm dropping everything. Got ready around 10-ish. And then, um, I don't know when I started doing my makeup. I was just relaxing on my phone for quite a while. My sister went with my mom to go grocery shopping at Costco, so I'm home alone right now. But I have to submit the research proposal I was working on that you guys know about, hopefully. It's due tomorrow, so I figured I could just get it done. So I just submitted my research uh, proposal. I have a meeting that was originally supposed to be at 1, but I think we're having it at 12.30. It's 12.04, so I'm going to be having a meeting very soon. It's with um, this girl in my class. We are going to be talking about um, how we're going to lay out the Harvard Brain Journal. It's this neuroscience journal that I am one of the writing and layout editors for. But essentially, we're going to be talking about how... because is also one of the layout editors we're going to be talking about how we want to lay out the journal what our ideas are for the journal basically just try to get an idea gauge where we are because we have until may 31st a little over a week from now that we have to have the journal completely laid out and all that bye hi how are you Just finished the meeting. Um, it is now 1.20. Oh, I'm free to eat now. Okay. And I'm going to go eat lunch. Yeah. 
Hey guys, so, um, what time is it? It is now 2 o'clock. I had PB&J and some fish sticks. Light lunch, but it was really good. I have some emails to send, and then I'm also gonna go back to working on the brain mapping thing. And I do want to start editing this vlog, so I'll probably do that later today. Hello. She brought me potato chips. I, I, I tried. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Thank you. She cut up slices of potato and put them in our air fryer to make like healthy potato chips. It looks like that. Soft on the inside. It's very good. I'm gonna admit, feeling not really motivated right now. So usually when I have a lot of stuff to do and I don't really feel motivated to do the thing that's maybe the most pressing, I'll get started on the things that are either A, small, or B, the most enjoyable, like fun. So the small ones would be writing an email, which I'll probably do first. And then I'll go into the fun thing, which for me is editing. So usually once I get going with that, I feel motivated enough to go into the thing that I'm supposed to be doing or the one that's the most tedious. Mmm, that was crunchy. So I'm probably gonna start with emails. I have to check on the chips and flip them because my sister asked me to. Hello. So, it is 7, 27 p.m. Edited for a little bit, went to eat dinner. I came back to my room, was on TikTok for a really long time. Um, and now I am back to doing some work. Why am I so dumb that I literally always forget a password right after I make it? Can someone actually let me know? Okay, so just as an update, in case any of you want to know, Harvard's Introduction to Computer Science course, CS50, is online this summer. Not that it's like only online, but they're offering an online summer version on this website called edX. I decided I would sign up for it because it's free. All you have to do is make a free account unless you wanted to get the verified certificate, in which case you'd have to pay like 80 or $90. So just in case any of you are interested, just wanted to zoom in a little bit. So this is what the website looks like. So just going to keep it here for a second in case any of you guys want to see it. They already have over 2 million people who are Signed up for it, which is really crazy. And it's around 12 weeks, six to 18 hours a week. Again, the course itself is free, access to all the resources, but if you want the certificate, it's $90. So my goal is to look at this uh, throughout the summer and then hopefully complete the whole thing. If I scroll down, you can see that they have a lot of problem sets. That's what homework assignments are called at Harvard. So essentially this is it, it's week zero to eight. And then you have the final project and then that's how you would get the verified certificate to say that you did it all. Seems really, really cool and I'm very excited. So if you guys want to do that, uh, I suggest you get involved. Hello friends, it's 11.31 p.m. on Thursday and I've literally only been vlogging from Tuesday night to tonight, Thursday night. So like two days and I already have so much footage. So I think I'm going to end this vlog here. I will continue vlogging. I am like editing the very vlog that this clip will be included in. But um, I just wanna say thank you so much for watching. I'm tired, I want to go to sleep soon. I will see you guys next time. Bye.